And welcome back. We may not feel the change in seasons, but the butterflies do, which is why the Pismo Beach Monarch Grove is open to the public once again. But as KSBY reporter Asia Gore explains, fewer butterflies returned this year. She joins us live in the studio to explain why. All right, Asia, people love this, but uh, not as many. Well, Richard, the monarch population is declining year to year by significant numbers, and that's not just disappointing for visitors, but potentially damaging to the ecosystem. We've been stopping by every day almost for the last two months, and she's been waiting to see the butterflies. At first glance, the trees appear bare. But with a special lens, Cindy Dugan and her grandkids see the gorgeous wings of butterflies. It's just amazing. I love her enthusiasm. These days, it's not just the camouflage that makes these winged creatures tough to spot. Right now, we have about 800 monarchs at our grove. Last year at this time, we had roughly 12,000 monarchs. Lawson says the year before that, 20,000 monarchs made the journey here to the Pismo Monarch Grove from Canada and the Pacific Northwest. The monarch population in the U.S. and worldwide is declining. In fact, the U.S. Center for Biological Diversity shows the monarch population has fallen over 68 percent in the past two decades. Loss of milkweed habitat. So milkweed is the plant that the monarchs lay their eggs on. It's the plant that the monarch larvae eat. So it's very, very important to the monarch life cycle. Erratic weather patterns, climate change, and pesticides destroying the milkweed, thus starving out the butterflies. In addition to literally planting more milkweed, Lawson says there are ways to help without even getting your hands dirty. One of the most important things you can do to help the population also is to become educated about the monarchs. Visiting here is a great way to do that. And there are docent-led talks at 11 and 2 o'clock every day. Lassen says the Grove is also in need of volunteers. You know, that's a very fascinating place to visit. Yes. Um, and then as the season gets going, you almost don't see it. It almost looks just like leaves in the trees, and then you that's see right. how many monarchs there are. But. Well, this was my first time there, and oh. looking around, I didn't even know where they were. She had to point them out to me. And once you see them, you, right. you can see the string of them, but I mean... The camouflage and then the fact that there aren't very many left. Yes, and so important to preserve. Yeah. Absolutely. And also very interesting to see just how, you know, how much uh, it all plays together. You yeah. know, it's, it's all connected. Yep. Yep. The system. Thank Absolutely. you, Asia. Which 